survived. Almost 10,000 others were treated for injuries, many severe. Meanwhile, a fourth California-bound plane, United Flight 93, was hijacked about 40 minutes after leaving Newark International Airport in New Jersey. Because the plane had been delayed in taking off, passengers on board learned of events in New York and Washington via cell phone and air phone calls to the ground. Knowing that the aircraft was not returning to an airport as the hijackers claimed, a group of passengers and flight attendants planned an insurrection. One of the passengers, Thomas Burnett Jr., told his wife over the phone that, I know we're all going to die. It's three of us who, there's three of us who are going to do something about it. I love you, honey. Another class, I've got to go. Bye. The passengers fought the four hijackers and are suspected to have attacked the cockpit with a fire extinguisher. <clears throat> the plane then flipped over and sped toward the ground at upwards of 500 miles per hour, crashing in a rural field in western Pennsylvania at 10.10 10 a.m. All 45 people aboard were killed. Its intended, tar intended target is not known, but theories include the White House, the U.S. Capitol, and the Camp David Presidential Retreat in Maryland, or one of several nuclear power plants along the eastern seaboard. At 7 p.m., George W. Bush, who had spent the day being shuttled around the country because of security concerns, returned to the White House. At 9 p.m., he delivered a televised, president, a te televised address from the Oval Office declaring, terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings but they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. In a reference to the eventual U.S. military response, he declared, we will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbor them. Operation Enduring Freedom, the American-led international effort to oust the Taliban regime in Afghanistan and destroy Osama bin Laden's terrorist, terrorist network based there began on October 7th. Within two months, U.S. forces had effectively removed the Taliban from operational power. But the war continued as U.S. and coalition forces attempted to defeat a Taliban insurgency campaign based in neighboring Pakistan. Osama bin Laden, the mastermind behind the September 11th attacks, remained at large until May 2nd, 2011, when he was finally tracked down and killed by U.S. forces at a hideout in Abbottabad, Pakistan. September 11th, 2001, the longest and most tragic day in New York's history is drawing to a close.